How to promote and sell your NFT art using Twitter. Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about how you can promote and sell your art on Twitter and what are the do's and don'ts of Twitter etiquette. So let's get into it. First off, I'm going to tell you guys that it's pretty essential to have a Twitter account and be a part of the community right now if you want to promote your NFT. Twitter is going to allow you to build a community to promote your products to and a community that is actually interested in your work. So over here you can see I have followed a bunch of creators that create NFTs and influencers that are very influential in the NFT market right now. And having a being a part of this kind of community is pretty essential now because investors are not going to invest in you if they have no clue who you are or what you're doing they want to see that you're an actual person that is actually creating this art and that you have a creative mindset behind it so that is why i suggest that you join the twitter community for nfts the only other good community for nfts is currently on discord but it can be very difficult to find good groups on discord but i would recommend that you join the wearable discord group and you're gonna find some good picks over there as well now if you take a look at the different influencers or groups or communities on twitter you can see there are a lot of great people that you definitely should be following so the reason why I think it's important to follow people that are very large creators is first off, you're going to get inspired and you're actually going to be able to put a face behind the art. You're also going to get a creative direction that you can move towards and you're also going to see other people's progress. Now, all of these Twitter accounts I am following and these are some amazing NFT creators that are posting on the daily. So they post every day or even if they don't post every day, they post every other day. Day. Now, in terms of specific points that I really do recommend using Twitter for is first off, you're going to be able to network. So networking is essential in any business or in any kind of sales. You want to be able to garner a audience for your creations or you are going to want to have some people that are actually interested in your work and you're going to be able to find good investors for your artwork or your NFTs via Twitter. Second off, it is the active community. Right now, the Twitter community for NFTs is very active you can see where we are at a sweet spot and there are people that are influential that are creating content as well as purchasing content and they are using twitter as their basic platform some people are focusing on discord but it's going to be a very difficult uh, way to enter onto discord communities however twitter is free for all so you can join any conversation no matter where you are from or who you are uh, in the nft community you can hop on and give your valuable opinion or give your insights on the art or the general progression of the NFT community. Thirdly, there is a low barrier to entry. So if you just create a Twitter account right now, like I have this account that I just created to show you guys and it is empty. So I haven't posted anything. I haven't tweeted anything. And already I have this abundant amount of information that I can gather using Twitter. And that's because Twitter has a low barrier to entry. So anyone can join Twitter. Anyone can be a part of the community. And that can be a pro, but it can also serve as a con as well. So that is something to keep in mind. After that, investors want to see activity. Now, if I'm someone, if I want to buy Nerdy Dreams NFTs, I'm not going to buy the NFT if I think this is a dying NFT, if there's no activity behind it. I'm not going to buy an NFT from a person that is only going to create like five NFTs and they're going to disappear off the face of the earth. I am only going to buy NFTs from people that are actually regularly creating their content and people that are actually putting in the work and are being consistent with their work. So that's something essential. And you can see the consistency of creators via their Twitter. So you can see this person has tweeted eight hours ago and then they have also tweeted 10 hours ago. They have also tweeted 11 hours ago. So you can see the persistence and the hard work behind artworks when someone is showing their activity they're showing their progress they're showing all of the stages of the creation of the art piece and that is very essential especially in a time like this where everything can be recorded it's best to document all the process and post it on obviously in very short form and that can really help the general image that you create in front of investors now another great part about 
the NFT community on Twitter is you don't have to post if you don't want to. So if I don't want to create any tweets, I don't want to tweet and I, I don't want to be a spokesperson for the NFT community, I don't really have to. I don't need to speak out. I don't need to post about my stuff. I can just be a silent listener and that can still be a very helpful tool because it's going to educate you and it is going to show you what you need to learn and what is something that, you know, you should opt to learn from. So you can see that there are so many great influencers you should definitely be following. You can see even over here that Loopy Moon has a giveaway and they are, you know, giving away this NFT which is probably going to be worth a lot after its purchase or its distribution. And you can see everyone on Twitter is posting as regularly as they can and now for tips on promoting your own NFTs, first off keep a 80 to 90 ratio on your profile. So you want 80% of your tweets to be in a week. So in a week you want 80% of the tweets to be regarding your opinions, your uh, thoughts, your views, your feelings on something and then 20% can be your own promotions, you're promoting your own NFTs or anything regarding to your own content so you don't want to smack people with promotions every day every day and tell them oh i'm making a new nft oh my nft is doing this i'm you don't want to do that because people will unfollow if they feel like the only thing they are getting from you is promotions and advertising also things to keep in mind when you're creating your nft uh community on twitter is don't post crap don't follow fake influencers and now you might be wondering what are fake influencers. Well, a lot of people are now uh, creating these accounts and posting outrageous opinions regarding NFTs just to garner a following and that is the con of having a low barrier to entry. It's that people, anyone can join and people are going to try to become famous, they're trying to get their big break and they will try to as outrageous as they possibly can be to just garner a following on Twitter and I've seen a couple of accounts regarding NFTs that are doing this. I'm not going to name them but there are a bunch of people that are doing this so you want to make sure you don't follow any of those fake influencers because if anyone has a large following on uh, Twitter that doesn't mean that they are an actual influencer. That just means they have a large following and that doesn't mean that they hold any kind of actual influence in the NFT community. But people that even might have a smaller following, but they could still hold more influence in the community. Why? Because their values and their opinions hold actual value rather than some Twitter drama or some Twitter feud. So stay away from influencers that you think are constantly getting in Twitter feuds. One feud here or there is fine because everyone has a differing opinion and people can argue over that. But if someone is consistently going over and being involved in a feud, I think that those are not the kind of people you want to follow on Twitter because they won't be a part of your growth. They will just be a drama alert for you to follow and obviously anyone can tweet so keep that in mind when you see these random people tweeting about uh, nfts and their opinions might not hold any value whatsoever so that's something to keep in mind make sure you actually look at the account and the people that you're following are worthwhile and the last thing that um that's something that's really scary about the twitter community for nfts is the future because right now we're at a sweet spot now right now we have a decent amount of people that have uh, entered this community and we have decent artists we have a lot of good stuff happening on the nft community right now but in the future i think more people are gonna jump on the bandwagon and the community is gonna be messed up so right now it's a good part to join but eventually i think with time most people are gonna shift to more private discord servers or a separate nft platform to discuss their nft goals so that's something to keep in mind that twitter isn't gonna be forever now another thing i like about Twitter as a platform to use to promote your NFTs is that you can get useful accounts altogether. So for example, if I want to follow certain accounts and I want, you know, if they're posting NFT news every day and I want to follow up on them, I can just go to their profile, click on these three dots. I can click on add or remove from lists and then I can create a list. I can name it NFT and I'm just going to click on next 
and then I can add the people that I want onto this list. So that's how it's done. You can just keep on adding people that you think are worthwhile and the opinions that you think are worthwhile. There is this NFT gold list created by Mr. Fungible and it's a very useful list. I suggest that you follow it. Over here, you're going to get some of the greatest things regarding NFTs. You're going to get good information, good updates, and the information over here is going to be worthwhile. So you're going to get a overall good info bite out of these lists. So the NFT gold list by Mr. Fungible is definitely something you should be following. Now, in general, things to keep in mind regarding the NFT community. Don't spam your followers with constant promotions of your own art. That is going to make them unfollow very quickly and People don't follow once you have a bad reputation. If they see your feed and they see and they scroll past your old posts and they see that you constantly post about your own art, people won't follow in that case either because that is just something you shouldn't do and you need to keep in mind your 80-20 ratio. Another good thing that you can do to post regularly because obviously life gets busy everyone doesn't have time to post about their opinions is you can just go on to google search for nft news go into the news section and if you look at any articles that you really like so if you like some article and if you think something is uh, worthwhile and it's a nice little article you can just copy this link and post it on your own Twitter account. Just link it to Twitter so your followers can read up on that article and get some useful information as well. That is something to keep your Twitter updates or Twitter tweets regular. So try to do that and try to post frequently, uh, at least like twice a day. If you can't, at least do it once a day to just build up your Twitter community. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and you're able to now create your own twitter community and follow up on the twitter nft community as well and i will catch you guys in the next video